The state of our city is, is in good hands. The state of our city is moving forward. I have today, in consultation with Mr. England and others, reached a point where the municipal budget 2008 will not have a municipal tax increase. This city's future is bright. There is no city in the state of New Jersey that has the economic foundation that the city of Hoboken has. In seven years, property taxes in this city have been at or around a 7% increase. There is not a city any place that shares those statistics. The structural deficit, which was in the vicinity of $17 million, is now at around 4 or $5 million. That's within our ability to, to, to reduce that even lower. Our budget is at a point now where we are able to maximize revenues. When you all voted, when you voted for pilot payments and the criticism, the criticism came forward on that. When you voted for added parking fees, or whether you voted to sell taxi cabs, well, guess what, by doing all of that? By, by bringing those revenues into the, the pot of revenue that's needed to fulfill our budget, you made sure that the taxpayer of Hoboken did not have to foot that bill. And in doing so, that's part of the reason why this city has a tax rate that hasn't gone up more than 7% in eight years. Our residents are going to see a sharp reduction in one quarter. And it's very easy to uh, assume that that's where it's going to stay. So, but in my working with the city council, the finance department, and trying to accommodate everyone, we are pursuing and we're going to continue on this path. But we are one of very few municipalities that's actually having a reduction. Now, that'll be for this quarter. The total four quarters will be flat. But uh, a lot of people, you know, participated in this process, worked hard, and, and, uh, and you know, we all, we all stand here to uh, uh, re receive some credit for that. Uh, as far as the, the amount that we are, we are uh, raising taxes, that has not gone up. Uh, there's like a very minuscule, like 0 0.0, you know, less than, 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 less than, less than, less than, less than 1%. Than 1%. The structural deficit has come down demonstratively, okay? That is now within area of reach. That didn't come down by accident. The council here, voted for things that made sure that, that that economic development buoyance led to that structural deficit nearly gone. I have worked up a chart that for every person in our city, if we had to disperse the value of our city, every resident would receive $195,000 because of the tremendous value. Peter, it is Bye. not my intention to offer you a budget that is uh, put together with certain uh, 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 financial techniques or financing. But let's not lose sight of the fact of the great strength of this community and the amount of refinancing that's occurring here. It would be similar to a, a family with a sizable financial uh, uh, foundation, you know, refinancing on a home equity to clear up some uh, additional credit card debt. This city is the strongest any, of any city in New Jersey when you compare its debt to its value. The types of refinancing that is being, or the types of financing instruments that are being utilized here, I would have to say are within reason and there is value to presenting this city a budget without a tax increase. I will pursue a bond rating. Uh, if, if, if you be welcome to join with us in areas that you have some expertise in, and you're in, in the purpose of doing that is so that Hoboken appears to the world that our finances and the, and the condition of our city is strong. I respectfully disagree with you about our city 
uh, financing its way or borrowing its way into some critical zone. I could assure you we're not. But my preference is not to have to borrow at all or finance anything to satisfy a particular budget year. The bad news about the municipal spending plan is the fact that there's some of this financing within it. The good news is that we haven't increased property taxes, and trust me, there is a value in not raising property taxes. By not raising property taxes stimulates the economy. It allows more growth. It allows more economic development. And as far as being frugal, you know, I, I, my mom was born during the Depression. You know, she still cuts coupons at home. And there is, there is, there is no uh, amount of wealth that any of us, at least in my family, set aside good techniques to save money. If there's a way that we could save money, I will stand shoulder to shoulder with each of you in order to do that.